Hi Libra and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So uh, what we're going to do is do a read for the first half of January 2020 and welcome to the new year, okay? Uh, very excited to see you here and I hope that you had a wonderful, safe, happy holiday uh, and uh, looking to see what's in store for you the first half of 2020, right? Uh, quite crazy, uh, but very, very excited to see what's going on with you. Now, this is going to be a general read. If you'd like a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, uh, go to theguidedintuitive.com in my description box below uh, or up here. All right. All right. So let's see what's in store for you here. What's going on? Uh, let's see what uh, needs to come out for you and who. Now that other person, that who could be a, a, a significant other. It could be a friend or family member. Uh, it could be even a person of interest. Okay. Uh, it uh, could be one side of a situation versus another side of a situation as well. All right. So do please note that. All right. So uh, let's see what's going on for you. What is going on? All right. Let's go ahead. Here's the current situation right now where you're at. What's the current situation? Wow. This is actually going within. This is the high priestess. So this is actually going into your truth, taking a moment to reflect, you know, taking a look, you know, on how you're going to move forward, how you like to see your life as you move forward. So it's like a reflection period, but at the same time, moving in and honing in on your truth and you're doing it in a spiritual manner, right? So um, whatever that truth is for you, you're taking a spiritual approach to it and you're, you're checking in with the divine, your source and seeing what that is in terms of how you would like to move forward uh, for this particular, you know, in this particular relationship or in this situation. Okay, uh, High Priestess is a major kind of card. It's a good place to be. The next card we get is completion. Wow. No wonder you're going within. You're probably thinking what you want to do next because this is success. Um, now, you could be travel that you're doing. Maybe there is success, uh, you know, in terms of travel. Maybe, uh, you know, this, uh, if it happens to be a person, perhaps you're going within and following your intuition in, in terms of uh, some sort of completion and uh, moving forward with new energy, that type of thing. Um, but it could be that you've had something that completed was a complete, you know, was a success. Um, and uh, it's about now moving forward. So maybe there was a successful inspiration that you gleaned from going within. It, it, it kind of brought you to some sort of completion, okay, in a relationship, in a situation, or with you yourself. So I think this is pretty beautiful there. Um, the current situation, wow, this is, this is exactly what I thought. How interesting. I get the Nine of Swords. Could it be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius? Now, this could be you or you're working with another fellow sign fellow air sign but this is what i call the 3am card this is kept you up at this has kept you up that night there is a completion to what has kept you up at night there's a spiritual completion and understanding uh maybe new energy that has now entered into your life and so i think that you've ended some sort of cycle uh, any sort of, sort of transition uh, could be a relationship as well, uh, but it could be having a lot to do with your energy. Okay. And, uh, and this is saying that there is a completion of not now it's no longer this, uh, you know, staying up at night and, and, you know, worrying incessantly about something and just kind of going in circles. So that's exactly how I see it here. This is beautiful. Um, I'm glad that this part is over because what I'm feeling for most of you, that that is the case, that it's not this, this constant, uh, you know, uh, constant, uh, uh, you know, up at night. It's a nine, which is coming to fruition. The next one is 10. So I think you're at the very, very tail end of it if you're not already there. And then this card is to let you know is to ready to choose a path and to know Libra that all is possible. So what does this path look like for you? Um, or with, is it with someone else? Is it on your own? Is it now choosing the path of how you want this relationship to go? Uh, now with this new awakening, this new knowledge, this allows you to kind of step back and look over, you know, the vista and say, okay, how do I want to paint this picture? What does this relationship now look like to me? Or what does my life look like to me first? And does this person fit in? Could this person fit in? Kind of that type of thing. So this is quite beautiful, but this is your current situation right now. You're kind of choosing your path, okay? And this is saying to believe in the impossible. So if something didn't work out before, this is saying believe in the impossible and know that you are possible, okay? I'm possible, right? Know that you are possible. Even though things had been hidden, I think they've really come to some sort of completion for you. And, and this is just saying that it... it 
you know how you always hear the the phrase once in a blue moon well this is the blue moon and this is saying that all that there that it, that you know a miracle can happen and and to believe in the impossible all right so that's what i see here for you libra um what about the other person um let me just check out what this other person where they're at right now let's see what that looks like okay wow so they're just they're they're focused on on uh really moving forward uh there could be uh it's like whatever it is that has stalled them before it's not stalling them any further it could be dealing with an, an aries leo sagittarius uh, that fire type energy this other person is just moving forward and, and i always feel that they're kind of um you know moving forward and overcoming obstacles there's mountains down here but it's it's now moving forward much faster it'll it'll happen much faster uh, communication is much uh, clearer to you now at least uh as as this person sees it, what they're currently at right now things are much clearer to them okay making better sense let's see yeah they're focused on the happily ever after they want this they want a marriage they want a partnership okay they want emotional fulfillment all right and they're doing what it is that they need to do to get themselves there okay and that's what's coming up here how interesting uh, let me see what the other card decks have to say let's see here they're breaking trail there is this is saying that there's a breakthrough at hand so if there's other person if you are kind of wondering that there is an, a, a breakthrough that is at hand okay and maybe they're having some sort of of, of of breakthrough in their life which has opened them up to possibilities of having you know this 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 ten of cups which is quite beautiful but there is a breakthrough in this relationship or in this situation at hand okay um, and this what they're doing right now is they're just opening up their spiritual space and trying to find their own sanctuary right now uh, so you know as they break trail and and and, and now they, they, they've had some downloads from the universe and communication that lets them know that that, uh, yes this is what I want uh, this is what I want to do and I want to find sanctuary and break the trail whatever that is in this relationship or situation to make that happen okay so that's what this is talking about so very interesting what do the mood cards have to say about this let's see what wants to come through where they're at conclusions are within reach wow so yeah i think that uh, maybe something had been hidden previously and that was the energy that was holding them back and feeling depleted and they just really couldn't break through um they had some missing pieces but this is saying an ending or conclusions are within reach at this time okay so how interesting is that now how um how do they feel about you how do they feel about you libra let's see what that is for you how do they feel about you what is it wow they, they think you've got a really good spiritual connection um they think that you know that uh, you know whether that you're good at teaching each other and learning from each other uh, and you both believe there's something higher than what you actually you know see uh, can kind of see um, it's more or less like you can kind of just feel it or know it right and and so there is some sort of spiritual connection that I think has has changed both of you and that it's a commonality you both believe in that it could be in different studies maybe there is a certain tradition that you believe in some sort of um, you know whatever that is but you both are loving to learn and you want to grow and this is uh, that's what this is saying how interesting wow so yeah this is beautiful anything else that wants to come through let's see what that is wow yeah and it looks like that uh, it looks like uh, uh just as gemini libra aquarius type energy it looks like you're moving forward with passion so i think there is some sort of there's a lot of passion that is involved in this relationship or in this situation whatever that is there's a lot of passion here okay and i don't know if you're gonna make it known uh, to them uh you know or that type of thing but uh but yeah, how they feel about you is they've got passion. They're spiritual and they're passionate, and uh, you know they've they've got a they've got passion towards you. And it's very on, on you know honest you know beautiful uh, uh, type energy. Uh, they just have a lot of passion for you, and they think there's a great spiritual connection. Anything else? Yeah, they they that um, that right now that they are going within. Um, so how they feel about you is they're actually taking some shelter right now and actually going within so they can get their their insights in this relationship or in this situation um they're they know that the answers are within them and not externally and that's what they're doing they're kind of shining the light on on what is happening in this relationship or situation okay so that's what i see here how interesting um how i want to find out is what is it that you need to know most about them libra what do you need to know most about them Let's see what that is. What do you need to know most about them? Here it is. 
Wow, that they have gone through a major shift in their life. Okay, they are going through a change. Uh, something has come to an end in their life, so they're going through some sort of change. Uh, which it really brings it to a new beginning, which is quite beautiful, especially as we incorporate that into the new year. So the timing, if it's going to happen, this is actually perfect. But I think it's a good tower for them. Let me just move this forward. <laughs> it is. Oh my gosh. Whatever has come to the end is making them feel emotionally fulfilled. Okay. So we've got the eight of cups, excuse me, the nine of cups. Um, and nines are coming to fruition. Uh, there is something that has come to an end, but now they're emotionally fulfilled in their life. So this is gorgeous. This is really beautiful. They're feeling very satiated. They're feeling very confident within themselves. They've got a lot of passion. Uh, they want to communicate. That's that blue of the throat chakra. So it's about communicating as well. Um, so yeah, what you need to know most about them is they've ha had some sort of ending. They're now feeling emotionally fulfilled. Anything else? Wow, they're experiencing joy and delight. They're really opening up their heart and they are really focusing on the joy that they have in their life, okay? And they're looking towards the light. So I think that whatever, you know, like I say, when you, I never fear this because it can be, it's a good tower. <laughs> Here it's a really good tower because it's it really allowed this person to uh, push everything away, focus on emotional fulfillment. And now they're in this joy and delight mode, which is quite beautiful. Uh, let's see what the moon cards want to say about this let's see what else wants to come through anything else um let's see here um what you let's see here uh, expect a powerful change yeah so in their life because they've now made some sort of changes in their life they're expecting a powerful change in their life in their relationships and in who all they deal with and and whatever it is but for them right now um, is, is, yeah, they, uh, have gone through some sort of change and they are expecting a powerful change. Uh, uh, this is really beautiful. Uh, really, really beautiful. So they're expecting some sort of powerful change right now. And I think in what they're doing is they're creating some sort of alchemy. What they're doing is they're taking whatever that tower was and they're using and transforming that through alchemy. So those energies that maybe had been, you know, uh, to have something coming down, they transform that energy to lift them up emotionally and, in, you know, in spiritually and feel joyfully and then know that there is a powerful change at hand and that the universe has their back and they have a hand in this as well. Okay. So this is really beautiful. What's the best way to move forward? What is the best way to move forward for you? Let's see what that looks like, Libra. What is that best way to move forward? What is that? Well, this is about going through introspection. So this is about taking some time, shining the light on that of which is hidden, maybe looking at some things at a different perspective, okay? So maybe you looked at it one way in this relationship or in this situation. Now it's saying, okay, look at it upside down. Look at it from the left to the right, you know, and really flip it around and get some feedback, you know, for yourselves and some enlightenment that I think will help you. But yeah, going through in using introspection and you're focusing on work, you're working, but you're also working really hard in, in, in terms of getting, you know, the guidance that you need and looking at things at all different levels. So you're putting some work into it. You don't mind putting some work into it. Um, I do think that you are working really hard though, and your mind is set on work, but just know that you've got an opportunity for a new beginning. Okay. There is a new beginning that you can usher in if that is something that you want. Now the green, you know, is all about heart chakra. The red is about passion and, and, and this is an opportunity and this is a page. So pages are about messages. And when you get the pentacles, this just tells me that this is all about, this is all about manifestation manifestation of what it is that you want. If it's a new enterprise, a new relationship, a restart, whatever this is, this is saying is that you, you hold that in your hands and it's available to you right now. And your best way forward is, is to continuously look for inspiration, look for guidance. Um, if you want this new beginning, you, you have an opportunity for a brand new beginning that's coming through. Uh, and even though that things might be hidden, you've got the moon card, major arcana card, um, even though things might be hidden, this is saying is that, you know, this is about gaining perspective and just continue to work and work, work with the divine and, 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 uh, focus on, um, you know, the opportunities that are available for you and, uh, whether or not you want to act on them. I'm going to pull another card on this and see what wants to come out. Best way to move forward. What is that? What do we have? Oh, wow. You're very close to achieving your goal. This is really beautiful. This could be in a relationship or situation. The blue is all about, you know, the throat shock or communication, text, email, whatever that is. So if there's a goal that you wanted to achieve 
and you want to move forward on, this is saying you're very, very close to it. Very, very close. So this is really great. And it's all about looking at something with a different perception. Okay. So again, this is telling you again, I even clarified you know, the hangman going all the way through and we get back into perception. How do you perceive this relationship or situation? Uh, because this is saying it's about, uh, uh, you know, using your keen sense uh, and you know that you have it, Libra, in you. Uh, but this is saying to you, so you're, you're, you're very, very perceptive, okay? Uh, and this is also about consistency. So if you're going to move forward, it's going to take some consistency in this, in this relationship or situation. And this is to let you know that consistency pays off. If you deliver it, you'll get it, okay? And uh, just like dependability. Um, so the sun is helping you in this process. So consistency in this relationship or in this situation is going to be very, very helpful for you in terms of how to move forward, okay? Uh, and it's about overcoming obstacles. And, and this is saying, Libra, you could overcome anything, okay? This is what this is saying, okay? And that's what this, this card wants to let you know, all right? So do keep that in mind that whatever obstacles that tend to come your way, it's just a, we're there to make your character in this relationship or in this situation much stronger for you, all right? Much, much stronger, okay? And any final words of advice in this relationship or situation? Let me just see what this is. Moonlight. Wow. This is about travel. There's travel, romance, uh, in it. Um, there's a lot of potential here. Wow. This is interesting. Yeah. That's what this is talking about that, that there is, um, there's potential for travel, uh, in romance. So whatever it is you're traveling to, uh, if it's to someone or for work, whatever this case may be, is that you could find romance when you do that. So there you have it. This is beautiful. Looks like some sort of, uh, I don't know, vacay somewhere, uh, where they do have beach, moonlight, trees. Oh, it's gorgeous. So their best way forward is that, uh, even though some things would be hidden, uh, this is saying take a chance, travel. It could be, it could be very, it can bring in a lot more romance and bring in a lot more potential. So this is quite beautiful. Wow. And anything else that wants to come through? Okay, what is that? Magnetism. Wow, you've got the magnetism, okay? So uh, you think you might apply it when you go over here. <laughs> but this is saying is that, yeah, it's like two people coming together, two birds coming together and creating that magnetism. So whatever this relationship or situation is there's a lot of magnetism here there is a lot this is a strong connection you're kind of both birds of the same feather but at the same time you're kind of opposites but you come together and you create this beautiful combustion and it's quite amazing um, and it's really it helps bring a lot of self-confidence and groundedness and and spirituality and communication to each other it really brings a lot of that in so it's kind of like two birds, uh, you know, kind of coming together. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite gorgeous. It's kind of looking the same direction. These birds are looking the same direction, right? And, and, uh, it's, it's almost like there's some sort of connection in the same direction. So it could be someone that you meet that you share something in common with each other. So, well, there you have it, guys. Um, uh, I look forward to seeing you in the second half of, uh, gosh, January. And until then, namaste.